what's up, guys? Um, let me your end. Keep me posted. Not sure if we are up and running, but let me know, guys. Connection was bad. Going. Yo, 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 yo. Let me know if you guys can hear me. Okay, awesome, Arnold. Thank you so much because I crossed out the page by mistake. I, um, I don't know what it is today. I don't know. I'm on the same connection that I have. Let me know if it seems to get any better. Maybe I should move back to the table. Or I don't know. I'm, think, I'm thinking we're okay right now. Let me know if you guys can hear me and see me clearly. And most of all, audio breaking up badly. Work. How is now testing, testing, one, two, yo, yo, yo. Can you guys hear me? Coming in, coming in. now not good. It was better, now not good. Oh, God. Better now, Tony? Yeah, I don't know, man. It's just very bad today. Guys, I'm going to head out. This is very bad. I don't know why. It's just not working well. I don't know. How about now? Is it coming better? Is it? Can you guys hear me clearly? Is it choppy? How is it? I guess not. I guess it's not that great. Still, same choppy. Okay. Now Arnold is saying video is good now. Gary, you guys can hear me okay now? God, this is like very tiring. <laughs> this is very tiring. It's good, it's not good. It's good, it's not good. What's going on? <laughs> Hey, Russ, I just got your testimonial. 
I just got it earlier. Thank you so much. You are awesome. Are we on now? Is it much better now? Are we good? Like, how good is it? Can you guys hear me clear? Wow, that's weird. Okay, I don't know. I didn't do anything. I did not do anything and it just cleared up. So should we stay on or should we just call it quits? It's up to you guys. I don't know. I'm kind of burnt out. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't even move. I shouldn't even flinch. Okay. All right, guys. Let's just get right into the Q&A. We spent like 10, 15 minutes with this lagginess. And you guys, and you guys are, are hanging with me. Thank you so much. So let's get into the Q&A, guys. I don't want to keep you guys waiting. Thank you, Aaron, Arnold, Jack, Stephen, Gary, Gavin, Latina Major, Jack Callis, Mario, John, John Crew, uh, Gary. Who else is on the line? Russ, I got your testimonial. Thank you so much. It's amazing. It's amazing. Um, I hope you'll let me use it to show the world. Don't be afraid. Don't be shy. Um, it'll help me help more people. Okay, guys, we'll stay on. We'll do some quick Q&A for the next 10 minutes. Anybody have some Q&A, type it in the chat right now. Um, I just wanted to mention a couple things. Um, I know most of you guys are registered to the Ecom Domination training. I'm actually going to be recording that training video right after I get off the phone with you guys today. It's not going to be live, but the official training will be live trainings every single week, Okay. So I'm going to be recording a training. It's going to probably be like a 45-minute to one-hour in-depth training to teach you about uh, e-com and what the whole idea is about and if you want to join and take it to the next level or not. That's going to be coming out tomorrow for you guys, 100%. So if you didn't register for that, register here, and we're going to be sending you the official training video for that. Um, the other big news is... Gunbud on Amazon. So if you buy a Gunbud on Amazon right now, and when you get it, you leave a five star or honest review for it, uh, they will send you another Gunbud for free, and that's a huge value. So check out uh, Gunbud on Amazon. If you haven't ordered one, order one right now. Uh, submit a uh, text testimonial on Amazon. Send a screenshot into Zula Ninja Support at Zula.com. Um, I'm sure you might have got the emails. Uh, we, are, we are promoting them. Anyway, let's do it. Um, Aaron Smith, you sent the testimonial as well. Can you please resend it? Oh, thank you, Arnold, for the house. Yeah, the house is really cool. I don't know what we're going to be doing. Everything's still in the air. I will keep you posted, man. You guys are going to know exactly what's going on. Um, everyone needs to hit the like button, man. Come on. What's going? And then the buffering will stop. That's what that's what Gavin said. I think he's right. Um, Steven, I'm nowhere near painting anything for a few weeks, at least here for the tips. John Crew, color sanding with rivets as well as 400 grit before a base on plane full aluminum. Awesome. John Crew, get that airplane painted. And send us the uh, before and after pictures. I got four of them now. Great product. Used it today. Awesome, Jack. Jack, send in a selfie. I think you did. Did you send in a selfie with Gunbud? If not, please do. Um, Tony, check your email for my testimonial YouTube link. I will absolutely do that. I said I got it. I got it this morning. I watched like half of it and then my phone rang and I had to stop, but I will definitely check it out. Thank you so much, Russ. You are the man. Thank you. Hell, Jack, send me one gun, bud, please. <laughs> well, Gavin, you might get lucky because I'm buying 25 more gun buds. They, they restocked over at Zula. I'm buying 25 more uh, to start giving away. Uh, Tony, I won the Mini X16. Does it come with a gun, bud? I think it does. I think it does, Arnold. Now I have to send one with my shirt coming. Awesome. Okay. The bull says to color sand and buff. 
are the basics 1500 then 2000 then wool buff or should i hit it with 3000 before wool buffing uh for plain black paint with no metallic and pearl yes you could go down to 3000 if you want it might be overkill i think 2500 um is is really fine enough then you can go over with the yellow wool pad with your compound then you could go then you can go uh with a foam pad polish pad some girl is spamming me here with some sex texts and like comment and like replying so i don't know i just blocked that girl there um can i give it to gavin absolutely absolutely you can give it to gavin uh but he is all the way in where are you gavin south africa south south africa right you might have to work shipping out with him and then if he pays you for shipping you can send it to him um Sorry, guys. We got some. Uh, we got some. We got some spammers in here. Okay. Um, any other Q and A, guys? While we're on, this is this this Q and A was kind of a fail in the beginning. I'm sorry um, for the issues and hiccups. But if you guys have any questions, um, again. Things are, are really coming down to a point as far as what we're going to be doing with the new shop, uh, where I'm going to be moving to, if I'm going to be staying in Japan. Last time I was talking about staying here or moving back to Hawaii or whatever. Um, we're coming down to the boiling point. I don't want to kind of mention it until it is 100% certain and final. Um, I would say within the next two weeks, we will have a final decision on what's going on. Of course, you know, with the family, sometimes it's not easy making decisions. Um, it's just a lot to think about. So, so that's that guys. Arnold, you're such a, you're such a sweetheart. <laughs> I know you're, you're, uh, you're all crazy gangsta looking with your goatee and all you're a trucker and all that. And, but you're, you're a, a teddy bear. Arnold is such a great guy. I, this is what I'm talking about, man. We have such awesome, amazing people in this community. Um, I hope to grow it even more. You know, I want to get back to the point where we have 100 people on live. I know it. we would easily have 100 people on live if we were working on a car and set up in the garage and like doing stuff. And we will get to that point, guys. We will. We're just a couple months away from it. Um, don't worry. A lot of cool things are going to be coming down the pipeline. I'm planning a single stage paint job, um, very soon with Raptor liner. Um, so we're going to have a lot of, we're going to have a single stage project coming up. We're going to have a motorcycle project coming up and we're going to have some other car projects coming up very, very, very soon. And it's going to be amazing. You guys are going to like the content. We're going to put a lot on YouTube. Uh, we're going to spread the word about VIP. And um, we're going to do it together, guys. Thank you so much uh, for, for the help. You guys are awesome. So anyway, I guess there's really not much Q&A today. Just a bunch of VIPs hanging out. I hope, I hope the protests stop. You know, I mean, this is ridiculous. You know, I mean, I don't know where everybody's stance on all of this is, but I just think it's getting out of hand. You know, um, people are burning down America. I mean, such a great country we live in and we're going, you know, we're already going through enough crap with this whole quarantine and pandemic thing. And now we got this. It's just it's crazy, guys. Um, I just I just hope we all can, you know, come together and just things. Can't we all just get along? Jesus, it's ridiculous. Um, I hope I did you justice with my testimonial. Yes, Arnold, we love it. And. Hey, one testimony doesn't have to stop at one. If you guys want to make more videos talking about LABAP and the projects you pumped out, talk about it, man. Post it on YouTube for us. You could even get an affiliate link for Learn Auto Body and earn commissions on new members. So that's something else, guys. I'll teach you how to do that as well. 
Um, is Adam X20 low volume and pressure suited for metallic paint, metallic paint, dark green? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Ahmed Jafar. Um, is it better to have too much? It's better to have more than too little because with little compound, there's nothing there. You're just going to burn up your paint and it's no good. So it's better to put more compound than not enough. You don't want to gob it on like crazy, but you know, just a couple of lines or dots, put it on your pad, smear it around and then slowly hit the throttle. Right. And then just, just get it on evenly. What's up, Tony? Have you used the Hutchins 500 random orbital sander? Thinking about buying one. What do you think about it? I have not used it. I have a couple of Air Advantage DA sanders, uh, orbital sanders that I've been using for years. They last a long time. I have one Harbor Freight one that works pretty well. It kind of stops once in a while until you get it going. I think it just needs a little bit of uh, pneumatic air oil. Um, but you know, DAs are DAs, man. You get them, they last you five, 10 years, no problem. Um, I do have a Hutchins straight sander that I bought when I was like 18 or 19. I still have it. You know, as long as you oil them up every once in a while, every six months, you know, you're fine. Uh, yeah, team, I'm going to be restoring a crash Volkswagen. Can't wait to post it for you guys. Can't wait to see it. Awesome guys. Awesome. 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 Um, after I sand down a dent, do is the paint next thing. Yeah, after you sand down a dent, you after you gotta fill it with body filler, you know, shape it down, prime it, you know, sand it. We have everything in VIP. So guys, if if one some of you guys are a total newbie in here, I would highly recommend going to Learn Auto Body and downloading this free guide here, um, and definitely check out the special promo on on a vip um it'll help you there's tons of information in vip that'll help you out arnold says you have a beautiful family thank you so much i know i do um you know it's it's been challenging because of ali you know my six-year-old is disabled she literally has seizures every single night sometimes during the day uh, when she's sleepy she ends up having seizures so I, I literally have to jump out of bed every night, you know, two, three times, sometimes four times a night to take care of her um, and hold her while she's having a seizure. And that's just my life. It's been very hard. But I mean, we do what we have to do. You know, we do it for our family and um, it is what it is. She's been on CBD for five years, you know, and uh, it is what it is. So Arnold kind of shares my same feelings, and that's awesome. I didn't know that. And I didn't know that about you, Arnold. So, uh, so yeah, it's um, it's it's crazy, guys. But hey, we have one life. We have to make the best of it, right? Um, family first. Family first. Um, Jack says for sure, guys, it's the best option. Jack, I got your images today. I'm gonna look it over later. Um, I saw that you did lay some paint down, and I saw that it looked very, very glossy. Congrats to Russ starting to paint. Not Russ. I mean, Jack. Jack. Russ, I got you. I got you, Russ. I, I also went out and got myself some sushi after watching that. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, wow. 24 years old already. Wow, man. You don't look old enough to have a 24-year-old kid, Arnold. I guess you I guess if you were in your late 40s or, you know, early 50s, you could be you could be uh you could have a kid that old. God bless you, man. Um uh, with the manual and mad props, Tony. Hope her situation gets better. My mother has the same medical condition. Hey, it is what it is, guys. Guys, lifetime VIP costs less than an Atom X27. Well worth it. Yeah, much less than an Atom X27. <laughs> I was 21 when he was born. I'm 46. Yeah, you're young, dude. You're still young. I, my wife was 21 when we had our first kid. I was 26 when I, when I had Maya. Well, I was 25, but... Five, five days after Maya was born, I turned 26. So I was basically, you know, 25, 26. I feel old as heck. <laughs> well, you're only, 
you're only like eight years older than me, man. I'll guys, I'll be 38 next month. I will be 38 next month, guys. Do I look 38? <laughs> God, man, age, you know, age just just kicks up on you, man. After I think after you guys after kids, it goes a lot quicker because you just see them grow like weeds and you're like, "Oh my god." You know, like my my daughter is shooting up like a sprout, you know, my young my my oldest, Maya, I can't believe she's going to be 12 next month and I will be 38. I look mid twenties, man. Thank you. God bless you, Arnold. You are the man. <laughs> oh shit. Well, Arnold, you don't look 46 either, man. You look younger than that. Being disabled is not a problem. One of my best friends has C uh, cere cerebral pal palsy, right? He's gone now. I think of him often. Feel old as heck. Time flies. Yo, I'm 26 now. Gavin, you're young, bro. You are a young pup. Thank you, Russ. <laughs> I just turned 63. Stephen Mitchell going strong. Hell yeah. I'll be 68 next month. Tony, what's up from Porterville? What's up, Ray? My son is 37. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I'm 37 right now. Uh, what's the max temperature that we can paint the car home garage? Example, 115. So I would say maximum heat, man, maybe 100, 100 degrees and five, but you're going to be sweating your kahunas off. You know, a hundred, I've painted in a hundred, 105 in Texas in my garage, dude, you sweat. You're going to have to definitely make sure you have good ventilation and use a, a slow reducer and slow hardener because that stuff is going to set up quick. Okay. I wouldn't go higher than 105 and you need good ventilation. I think hundred would kind of be on the borderline. 105 is pushing it, but it, you know, it can be done. Older you get, faster time goes. Since the clear coat is the final coat, it's better to get the low volume, low pressure uh, over the over the high volume, low pressure. Well, a low volume, low pressure gun is good all around. You can spray base coats, single stage, and clear coats with it. So I would say if you want to go with a low volume, pr low pressure, low volume low pressure is great you guys are saying you're in your 70s and 60s and 70s guys my godfather is gonna be 82 this august and he is strong as an ox i'm pretty sure you guys seen the godfather project i think he was like 78 or 79 when we made that video series and did you see how strong he was he is the same Strong dude. He's 82. He works. He is healthy as hell. And you know what I think one of his secrets is? He donates blood a lot. So he gives blood. And I was just reading an article yesterday, guys, on the benefits of giving blood, especially men. And I think women live longer because when they were in their younger age, they, you know, through the menstrual thing, they, you know, they bleed, right, every month. So they get rid of the bad blood that way. So I think for a lot of you guys, and I think I want to start doing it as well, is giving away blood like every other month. Just give away a little bit of blood. You know, this way your body, because too much iron in your body, basically you get an overdose of iron in your pancreas and in your kidneys, and it's no good for you. So you might want to look into that, guys. Um, if you want to extend your life, start giving some blood. I'm actually going to be doing that. I've given several gallons in my time. So that's a lot of blood. Like I, I gave blood once. I think I should start doing it again. I always donate blood. Wow. So a lot of you guys are doing this. That's awesome. So anyway, yeah, I got to absolutely get into that and start doing it on the VIP videos. You scuff up the OEM paint pretty quickly. Do you really go over the OEM paint that quickly and you get good results? Yes, absolutely. Maybe it looks like I'm going over it quickly, but I'm actually sanding it really well. 
Ray says, I'm 57 with a bullet and I'm not shy. I'm almost 50 with a seven-month-old son. Gulp. Really? Jim, congratulations. Hey, I think Donald Trump had his son at 60. Something like that. His, his, late, his youngest son, Barron. I think he's 12. He's 12. He's like my daughter's age or a little older. Um, my knuckles bleed enough. I just pulled the bed off my 94 Ranger pickup by myself. No hoist or mechanical help. Just me in the truck. Oh, God. That's awesome. Donate blood. Good info. Yes. Tony, is Evercoat Featherfill G2 primer any good? Can I reduce it with paint thinner? I'm pretty sure you can. You could reduce anything with paint thinner when it comes down to it. But I wouldn't reduce clear coat with paint thinner. I've reduced base coat with, clear, uh, with paint thinner in the past. My dad has, especially when you run out of reducer and you like got nothing, sometimes you could, you could make it work with paint thinner. Yeah, a lot of old timers on here. Wow. <laughs> um, 79 tomorrow and getting ready to paint the 1951 truck. Oh my God. <laughs> Kill it. Yeah, the live feed is going great so far. How much time we can keep the car in 2K primer, especially in hot weather? I'm worried about the Bondo may crack. No, that's not going to happen. It's not going to crack. You can keep your 2K primer in hot weather for as long as you want. Nothing's going to happen to it. Um, yeah, trying to live with the least amount of stress and happiness. Happiness is key. You know, family and happiness and, and finding balance. You know, crazy, crazy, guys. Bondo on a bumper, okay. Yes, absolutely. Bondo on a bumper is a-okay. Just make sure you scuff it really well with 80 grit before you hit it. All right, guys, I'm going to head out. It was great talking to you. I'm sorry about the rocky start, but um, I'm going to head out. I have a lot of things to do today. I have to actually start recording the e-com training right when we get off the call. So I would just want to say thank you for, um, for joining us today. Do you have any plans on how to roll fenders properly? Not, not any plans right now, but maybe in the future. Yeah, that would be epic. <laughs> um, hey, maybe we'll do a uh, – maybe if I move back to Hawaii, we'll do like a, a mastermind. And you guys can come on vacation to Hawaii and uh, we can hang out. Who knows? Save up your money. Start saving up your money, guys. Anyway, um. I will let you guys go. Thank you for getting on. God bless everybody here. I'm sorry for the rocky start. Um, we will be on Sunday night streaming. I'm going to be uh, launching the e-com training tomorrow. You guys will, uh, on the notification list will get an email and invite to the training. And um, I will be in touch. Thanks, guys. Have a great time. Have a great evening. Um, and have a great weekend because it's almost Friday. Talk to you soon. Thanks for getting on, everybody. Really appreciate it. And uh, we'll be streaming live for many more years to come. As long as I'm around, we'll be doing this. And we're also going to be incorporating different streams on different topics very soon. I would say uh, within the next 60 days or less, we're going to be streaming on the topic of generating income online. And whoever's interested in that can jump on that as well. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Have a great evening. Bye-bye. Thanks, guys.